the genetic testing can often give you options. So at an early stage, we don't do genetic testing of melanoma. It's not going to help us because knowing the answer doesn't change anything. In medicine, you should do a test, a genetic test, for example, if doing the test either gives you critical information about the patient's outcome that the patient would want to know, or it will influence the outcome of how you treat and handle that patient, or the options change the options you give to that patient. So for example, we do genetic testing on stage three or four melanoma because the results of that testing might allow a patient to get a further treatment that again has been shown to be useful only in that type of melanoma. So that testing is literally so-called sequencing the genetic material, and it tells us whether a mutation, a genetic change called BRAF, B-R-A-F, is present in that tumor. It's in the tumor, it's not in the patient, which we have to keep reminding the patients. So the mutation or genetic change in the tumor both influences its behavior, yet it sets you up for the potential to receive further treatment that might reduce the risk of this thing coming back. And again, the way it's carried out, they take the biopsy specimens and they chop 10, 20 slides. It's a glass slide. On the slide, a little piece of the total material is the tumor. They literally scrape, literally with a scalpel blade, scrape the teeny flecks of tumor off the glass slide into a solution which dissolves away most of the material but leaves the DNA, the genetic material intact. And they then do a sequencing reaction where they actually sequence literally thousands and thousands and thousands of the, what we call the base pairs of the DNA, the very sequence that defines uh, the personality of a human, but they sequence that which is found in the tumor, not in the normal cells. And that's genetic testing, and you get a report, a printout, that says, well, you have so many mutations or genetic changes, and you have so many, uh, describes the specific ones, and it says, oh, this is actionable, meaning you can do something about it. Or, well, yeah, it's there, but it's not actionable. Just for notation, there's nothing you're going to do about it. And again, we should genetically test any time someone has stage three or stage four melanoma, because if it's stage one and two in the skin, there's no specific treatment that you're going to use based on the testing, so why bother? It's like, why do a test if it doesn't influence how you manage the patient. That's kind of a fundamental tenet of medicine, and it certainly is a fundamental tenet of oncology. Don't, don't spend somebody's money on getting a test if having the result of the test won't change anything. Just to know something for the hell of knowing it is probably a bad idea in medicine. And again, in melanoma, unlike in some other cancers, we have a pretty limited repertoire of, or a limited group of genetic changes. But the, the most important one by far is called BRAF, BRAF. And if the BRAF is mutated, which is in about half, maybe a little less than half of all melanomas, without further treatment, those patients are at bigger risk for return of the tumor. But if they get treated, you can choose a very targeted treatment, which is called a targeted therapy, tailored to those who have the BRAF mutation which acts as a driver. And when I say driver, I mean literally driving like driving a car. The mutation, the genetic change drives the growth of the tumor. So if you have a driver mutation in a tumor and the capacity to block it, that's a good formula. That's a formula for success. And it turns out that we have three drugs that block BRAF. There are other substance is called MEK, which while they're not mutated, they don't have genetic changes, can also be blocked to help make the BRAF inhibitors work better. So it pays to know the genetic identity of your tumor because it tells you what genetic changes might be present that could evoke an action in your part to use a drug or use a pill or something like that.